नक्षत्र सूर्य ओके ओके नंबर या सी सेकंड चैप्टर थर्ड वाली इज अध्यायस आकाशता नेम इज श्रोत्र आई थिंक सो श्रोत्र से दिख दे बता दिख डायरेक्शन इंडिकेटिंग स्पेस श्रोत्र से दिख दे बता त्वचो त्वचो टच वायु 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 त्वचो वायु चक्षुष सूर्य 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 रस रसनाया वरुण right just random so many things are there so many statements are there so many sanskrit shlokas are there simple things like this chakshusha dev surya ha just waiting to see the doctor sitting in the doctor's office that is a time when you have a lot of time correct that is a time when you will have a lot of time use that time just right open your book and then pick something Or you can just read your notes. That is also perfect time to read it, and you will begin to understand Vedanta very well in the doctor's office. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. It works really well, and because there is nothing to do, there is no phone, nothing, and all. But the mind is there, and yeah, and you also get a good feeling. I'm using the time properly, and so it works very well. And then you can meditate on all these things. Okay, ah, uh, so there is some text messages here. Uh, Yeah, so Swapna was there. Uh, she raised her hand. Yeah, Swapna, go ahead. I'll ask a quick question. Um, uh, I was unable to appreciate the Narada joke. I don't know if I missed something. I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking the Earth is ro- uh, rotating, right? So, what is the sun doing behind uh, darkness? So, uh, it was it just stuck into my head, and the whole class I was not able to. <laughs> focus so anyway i just wanted to share that i, I don't know if i missed something um but um, yeah as a joke i was able to laugh but um, uh, somewhere uh, my logic took over or something <laughs> yeah you stretched the logic too much sapna <laughs> so yeah this the story about why the sun is moving and especially why the sun can't see dark that's the main thing and uh, yeah i think you became a little sociological <laughs> and guruji one uh, this thing for agni you said watch what devti the this one walk so you i have to uh, give fuel and fuel is in the form of oil or ghee so it it is it gives power that's what they say yeah, yeah. in in 17 chapter it talks about Yeah. Okay. Devamani, somebody says uh, 
Nisha is uh, Akaranda Pullinga, not a. Uh, I don't know how to check because I'm not able to check now. Akaranda Pullinga, but they give wrongly the name to ladies as Nisha. Uh, you check first. No, first you yeah. check. I think it is yeah. Akaranda Pullinga. You first check your Kosha. Look, look, look. Before checking, where does the word Nisha come in Bhagavad Gita? Yanisha yeah. Sarva Bhutana. What is the lingam there? Feminine. What is the lingam? Krishna yeah, says it is Krishna seems to think it is three lingam, correct? Because Yanisha, not Yahanisha. Yanisha. Therefore, I think it is pointing to Sri Lingam. Ramaji, we want to confirm, double check that. Later. Thank, you. Thank you. My internet is out, so I cannot check now. And later we'll see when it comes. Sure, sure. There's some messages. Yeah, Swapna says witness Sakshi. Okay. So, Bhava, Bhava Sakshi. Vritti Bhava Bhava Sakshi. So I am the Sakshi of presence and absence. Everything. Sakshi, correct. He art, every heart says. Okay. okay. All right. Good. So Anuradhaji, you are able to hear now? Yeah. All right. Good. Any other So I spoke to our Swami Atma Tuktandaji yesterday. And long conversation. Here we are 45 minutes, one hour we were talking. And so I told him, you know, we all want you want to hear you, some more of you. And said, yeah, whatever you guys say. And uh, I don't have any agenda or anything like that, he said. So, Swamiji, do you want me to ask? Ask all our friends in class. Tomorrow morning, I have a guitar class. And I said, he said, yeah. yeah. I ask. Swamiji, they are, they are going to ask you to come, Swamiji. Be prepared. That's what I told you. And uh, okay, you get, get their feedback. That's what he said. So, I gave him an idea. So, what do you think? Let's, let's hear from you guys. He is very good then. He knows uh, uh, classical music. And then there is uh, quite a bit of uh, videos in YouTube. And yes. then also he can analyze the uh, slokas and songs with the meaning. That will be very interesting to some of the uh, songs, uh, Karnatic music songs. It will be very interesting to learn from him. Good, good suggestion, good suggestion. You know, interesting this is coming up because just last month, I was talking to a good friend of mine, Kanikeshwaran from Sinan. And I was telling him, you know what, Kanik's it's time for us to do a program on Vedanta through Muttaswami Dikshita's Kritis. Like that, I told him. And he said, yes, let's talk. So we, we left it at that. Okay. And now this thing has come up. So it's so interesting. It's so interesting. But yeah, I agree with you. He has. Uh, he also said many things, right? Bhajans are there. Hindi songs are there. Tamil songs are there. If you tell him a little Kannada, that also he will pick up. And so he will connect all the dots very well, right? Any other ideas from others? Yeah, Miraji, go ahead. I thought we should start with Swamiji's uh, songs. Okay. Alan Swamiji's songs. Introduce us to those and with meanings. Okay. 
right? Temaji. I myself loved his talks. The way he connects, I really like that. Uh, his examples, it's very easy to, I feel very easy to understand. Okay, very good, very good. Premaji. Yes, Guruji, I, I was thinking of the Yoga Minakshi Stotram, which I found very interesting towards uh, the end. Uh, which describes uh, the ascension and descension of Shakti in the body and how yeah. we understand things. That was, uh, I would be fascinated to hear more about it. Okay. Yoga Meenakshi Stotra. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. I'll mention this thing. Thank you, Guruji. Any other ideas? So, yeah, I clearly. like the Jay Kumarji. I like his uh, expertise in uh, uh, music again. Uh, for example, Dayananda Saraswati's uh, Swamiji's uh, songs, he, Maharaja Santanapuram has sung many of them. And then uh, this Swamiji has uh, come out with a different uh, tune or ragas. And then also he analyzes the meaning. What is the uh, uh, Pujas, the Swami, uh, Diamond Saraswati Ji, he meant and he wrote. That is very fascinating for me. Right, right. So, yeah, I think so. I think uh, it's good for us to. Rarely we get a chance to study the Shastram through music. Rarely, rarely. And uh, after I studied, started studying Vedanta, then, you know, this Bhikshita Skritis, I started listening. I mean, it means I used to be, I used to listen to song. Then all the Sanskrit, it's all Sanskrit. So I, 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 I literally purchased a full thing. So all the compositions of Krishna. Okay? I was so excited when I purchased the book in Chennai. Okay? And because it was all... And then I started just reading the book. Means I was looking at it. He gives the meanings also. And then I was looking at it. I said, my goodness. It's all Vedanta. After studying Vedanta, you look at this. It says, my God, this is what he is. He is he's an avatara. That's the feeling I got. And ever since then, uh, then I used to listen to Anamacharya's Kritis and things like that. Wherever I could understand the language. Once you understand the language and we have the background, then the message just pops out like that. And uh, so I think uh, that's an avenue we have not explored. Right? So, we will read it off. did you read the Gitanjali? the English version of Gitanjali. So, you know, long ago, I I must, I must read it. And long ago, because it was long. These songs, what I find is everything about Upanishads. Correct. Rabindna Tagore, everything is Upanishad. Everything is Upanishad. So while you are saying like that's what we do, I like you know we translate the songs and uh, it's it's really it's amazing what uh, he uses. Yeah, very true. And even the, the olden days, the movie songs of the olden days were also yeah. They're all very meaningful. Very meaningful. Yeah. Especially Kannadas and written songs. Yeah, see. Veedu varai kuravu Veedu varai kuravu Kaal varai kuravu Kadasi varai Veedu varai kuravu Means home. Home is the center of 
relationship. The relationship means home. But that's it. Then what? We the very money. Suppose I end up in the street. Suppose I end up in the street. Then the money means wife and husband go together because they are one unit. Children won't come to the street. They'll say, "You take care of yours." We we the very money. So wife. So all family comes. To, then only husband and wife. Wife comes with me to the to the street. Card very pretty. Wow, this is what this this is cremation ground, cremation ground, cremation ground. Wife cannot accompany me to the cremation ground. Son can accompany. Son comes because he is the one who has to lit the fire, you know. So son, and then what? Kadesi vara yar. It's till the end. Who? After this, what? Sorry, says. You start thinking about all that, you know. Oh, they wrote all these songs, and those songs were popular also, which means people appreciated, people connected. These days, I don't know what's going on. These days, uh... anyway, these days, forget about these days and all. So we'll just enjoy what we enjoy. What we enjoy. <laughs> Why worry about these days and all? <laughs> what we see really... in the these days, we don't live in those days, you know, like that. If you say, okay, that's why we have Iran. Yeah, go ahead. In the late 70s and early 80s, uh, they were not recorded, but Puji Swamiji used to sing Mira Bhajans and also Kabir, Kabir's Dohas. Yes. And one yes. of them, I remember, he, he sang, which was Jagat Chabena Kalika, Kuch Mukhme, Kuch Godme. So, that remained with me for a long time, but unfortunately, at that time, nobody recorded anything. They were beautiful bhajans. So maybe Swamiji has access to those bhajans, and maybe uh, they also teach a lot of Vedanta and uh, the, the attitude towards life, which make it easier uh, to suffer uh, the pains and vicissitudes of life with a little bit of ease and grace. So that Definitely. is something I would like also. Kabir's Dohas. Kabir's Dohas. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm certain that Swamiji is really you know, we are doing a project. A trust is sponsoring that project. A professor here is, uh, has translated the works of Kabir and uh, Kabir Das and Sur Das into Tamil to make that work available for people of the state. And so the work is translated. So we're looking for a publisher. And I've, I promised her that we will sponsor that project. So I'll just by the way. All right. So anybody, Bhagya, you wanted to say something? No, not me. You're unmuted, that's why. I... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I forgot to mute myself. Okay, good. So I will uh, tell Swamiji, and maybe what we can do is uh, something like something like this once a month thing. Once a month, he conducts. Okay, so that you know, we can't we can't have it every other every day. Definitely, we can't have every week. Also, might be too much. A lot of us are taking courses. it's too much for him also. So I want. I think I should propose to him something like that. Once a month, on a particular, you know, third Saturday or fourth Sunday or something like that, we can pick something. And then we can decide what that is, and then we'll ask him if that schedule will work. And yeah. we heard him saying some Bengali words, so maybe he by now will pick up some Ravinder Sangeet. Oh yeah, I'm sure he will. Why uh, did, did you talk to him after that? Uh, did I? I didn't give you his phone number. Also, no, okay, no, you did not. You did not. But what I'm saying, because I heard him saying some Bengali words, I guess you didn't understand that, but I did. <laughs> what they say in Kolkata and all that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sure he knows Bengali, no doubt. He's been in Kolkata all along. So, yeah. So, so he, yeah. 
Robindra Sangeet. Robindra Shongeet. Yeah, like just say that Tagore song. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I remember him saying Sharani. I know Before. that's what I'm saying. Sharani yeah. Puchka. Yeah. Sharani is Marani. Marani. Yeah. We say Sharani. Smaragulli, we say Sharani. In Bengali, it is Sharani. For what? For Smarani. Smaranam. Smarani. Oh. So it became Sharani. And uh, she said, a lot of people say Sarani, and that's not correct. But he didn't say Smarani to explain what should be the right thing. But that is one of the things. So he's very fluent in, uh, in Bengali, too. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. So we have Anuradha ji and Prema ji who appreciate Bengali. <coughs> good. So I'll, I'll reach out to him. He forgot something for it. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasha Hastaya Sarva Maya Vinashanaya Trilokyanathaya Shri Mahavishnave Namaha